that's an antiquated 20th century understanding of what trauma is. A 21st century understanding of trauma would say that trauma is a state of overwhelming stress in the nervous system. According to the neuroscientist, Dr. Stephen Porges, who created what's called the polyvagal theory understanding of the nervous system. Whenever our brain perceives threat or there's an actual threat, our nervous system draws upon a hierarchy of responses based upon their evolutionary development, starting with the most recently evolved, which is called our social engagement system, where we look to other people to calm us down. Then we go into fight or flight response, which you obviously know what that is. And then if we feel too overwhelmed to fight or flee, then and only then, do we enter into a trauma response? It's also called the freeze response. This is a mammalian defense mechanism that is designed to emulate being dead so that the predator loses interest and walks away because predators prioritize a prey that puts up a fight. And part of the freeze response, just in case the predator doesn't lose interest and walks away, is there starts to be a shutdown of what Dr. Bessel van der Kolk calls the Mohawk of self-awareness. It's a series of brain structures that are responsible for you feeling connected to your body, yourself, and your environment. Also, there's a shutdown down of the part of your brain that's responsible for perception of time. That's why time feels all messed up. Your memory starts to fragment, which is where your memory starts to register as implicit procedural memory instead of explicit narrative-based memory. You go to remember things, you remember bits and pieces. Sometimes you don't remember anything at all. These are just some of the symptoms that happen once you go into the freeze response, which is the dorsal vagal branch of the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, for some people, you had a very calm history and you had a singular situation that overwhelmed your nervous system. This is called a major trauma, okay? It's a sudden state of overwhelming stress. Using the cup example, you're going from literally walking around with like no, you know, let's say coffee in here, which represents stress, the cup represents your body, to all of a sudden, bam, a situation just overwhelms your ability to cope. You feel too trapped and overwhelmed to fight or flee. I do see this happen sometimes, but most of the people that I'm working with in this definitely was my situation is it's more of a complex trauma situation which would be the equivalent using this cup analogy of water slowly filling up over time repeated stress and adversity over time and then eventually you hit that overwhelm point 